Hi everyone, happy Saturday. I have been traveling today, which is why I look like this. Um, I'm now in Glasgow, um, so continuing on my trip away, but I just wanted to jump on and really talk about engaging with your tribe because throughout the week we have been speaking about lots of different ways that we can really improve our lives and how we can take that to the next level. So we've been talking about intentions, acknowledging our progress, really learning to be still, so engaging in mindfulness practice. We've been talking about acknowledging the progress, um, so many different topics. So this one is specifically around the people that you surround yourself with. So really engaging with your tribe as much as possible and who your tribe ultimately are for you. So for me, my tribe is very much people who inspire me, people who support me, people that I absolutely love, people that I really get a lot of out of when I'm spending time with them. So people who are positive and who really up level me and encourage me to be the best version of myself as well. So I have some three quick tips on how to find your tribe that I wanted to share with yourselves on this beautiful Saturday. So the first one is I want you to write a list of everyone in your life that really up levels you. So really lights up your power, really serves a purpose in your life. So people that you absolutely love to spend time with. I want you to write a column off that to acknowledge all of those amazing people. The second column I want you to focus on is really reflecting on those people who are maybe mediocres. So the people who you perhaps have a relationship with, you would meet for a coffee every so often, you get on with, but you perhaps um, wouldn't put them on your immediate VIP list, <laughs> VIP list of life. So really reflecting on that. The third tip that I really wanted to instill, and this is the challenging one, is to write a list of people who are in your life but no longer are serving you. So really reflecting on what that looks like. So reflecting on people who are maybe negative towards you, who are really toxic, who are not supportive, who criticize you, who bring your energy down, who really lower your mood when you spend time with them. And sometimes this can be a really difficult task because what we find is some of these people are people that we see frequently. So really focusing on our column three and working out how we can reduce um, their influence in our lives. So it could be ultimately being really cut through and cutting them out of our lives altogether. It could be perhaps um, unfollowing them on social media, but still being friends with them on social media. It could just be being a bit more boundaried. It could be reducing contact with them, or ultimately it could be having a conversation with them to really, I guess, support them to reflect on how they are making you feel. And tasks like these are really, really powerful to really make sure that you are aligned with the right people and that you're focusing your time and energy on these people that really up level your life. So really focusing on your column ones. I have a specific um, worksheet on this. So if you would like the free worksheet with the explicit guidance, let me know and I will be sure to send that to you directly. As always, please make sure that you connect with me to discuss this because it's such a controversial subject, um, cutting people out of your life and things like that. But it is so worth it if it's really going to be bringing you positivity by sort of reducing that time with those negative people, but really increasing that time with the people that really up level you and your life. As always, sending so much love and light and I can't wait to check in with you all on my last day of lives tomorrow. Take care, everyone. Bye.